After months of trying to move this bath and having it filled with water during winter, we finally got it in the position we needed it. Of course that meant it was time to refill it, luckily we still had all the dirt we took out of it in the first place. We went to the garden centre and got a few things, we decided to go with sort of herbs, so we got some chives and rosemary. We also got some trailing lobelia to go over the edges of the bath. And because they are trailing, we planted them as close to the edge of the bath as we could, in the hopes that they will actually trail over the bath. We then planted the herbs along the back of the bath. Here's the rosemary. At this point, it was already looking a bit sick. I don't know why. And then our chives as well. And our curry plant, which was looking rather healthy. We also planted an old thyme, which we weren't quite sure if it was going to survive or not. At this point, the bath was still looking quite empty, but hopefully everything was going to grow. We then planted a rose bush as a kind of centerpiece of the bath. When it blooms, it's sort of a reddy pinky colour, it's really nice. And with that addition, it was starting to look a little bit more full. We also had a little buddleia in the corner, which hopefully will grow a lot. Since it was still spring, we decided to plant some summer flowering bulbs. We kind of just dotted them all over the place and hoped that at least some of them would come up. We had so many of them, we even started planting them in the other plant pots, like this one for instance. It's one of my favourites, it has this little ornamental ivy and loads of moss, I love it. We also planted some in this one with the daffodils and the pear tree. Unfortunately, none of the bulbs ever came up, but everything else started to grow wonderfully. Once the lobelia started to grow, it looked quite spectacular. Now at this point in summer, everything has really grown and it's all starting to look lovely and green. We're even starting to get strawberries on the strawberries, which is lovely, they taste so good. They're pretty small strawberries, but they taste lovely. I even managed to find a ripe one before the dog ate it. What a miracle. The lobelia has grown so much and it may not be trailing over the sides of the bath, but it has really filled it up and you can barely see the soil anymore. And the primrose that we planted in there by accident because we dug it up is actually still alive. The roses are in full bloom at the moment and there are just so many of them. They're practically taking up the whole bath. I've never seen so many blooms. There's still so many buds on them as well. The whole bath's going to be covered. They are really beautiful though, so I can't complain if they do cover the whole bath. One thing I did find interesting was some of the lobelia turned out white. <laughs> Even the time we thought was dying, it's actually ended up flowering and is looking great. The chives are flowering too, so it's really full of colour at the moment. The curry plant has grown so big and it has these funny little flowers. I'm so happy to be finally done with this project. It's taken over a year and moving a cast iron bath is really hard work. But I'd say it was worth it. 